Back, Apple CEO Steve Jobs is addressing the media in a closed door news conference right now. That's right. He's expected to explain how the company plans to fix a problem many iPhone users have complained about drop calls. Many have also reported signal problems with Apple's newest iPhone 4 when you hold the phone a certain way. Jobs is calling the problem Antenna Gate, but claims Apple's iPhone isn't the only one with the problem. He and other experts claim it's a simple fix. With a bumper on, the iPhone doesn't seem to suffer the signal loss that we reported earlier. Apple's not allowing us to show the press conference live, though, but our Sean Rutherford is watching a live blog of the event that started about 15 minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Sean, what's going on? Uh, well, he started off with uh, a, a video on YouTube that kind of made fun of the whole antenna gate, as mm -hmm. he calls it, and then uh, started talking about how they know that there's a problem, but he first wanted to address some issues. And then he started showing phones from all different manufacturers, all different companies, uh, different networks, and showing how when he holds them, the bars go down just the same. We've talked about this this morning. One thing about Steve Jobs and Apple, and they are not stupid. They are, mar no. they are geniuses as far as marketing and real yep. slick company. Recall here, maybe? Is there a possibility of some kind of a fix? He's got, I guess he's got to admit it first. He's so. going to have a fix. He actually, in one of his statements when he first opened up is, we are an engineering company. So mm -hmm. their first and foremost is to build good devices. And yeah. they've got a great reputation. I mean, the, a lot of people yeah. are fanatical about them for a reason. Yep. What do you so. think happened here, though? Uh, you know what? They've got an interesting design on the antenna. They might have, there might have been a flaw. But either way, they're going to figure this out. And at some point, I'm sure he's going to get to it. He's got a presentation that he's putting together that he said would take about 15 minutes, mm -hmm. which means he's stalling for the answer. Right, yes. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, he's, he's about 15, 16 minutes into it, and I've been watching as everything comes in. Uh, at the very moment, he, his last comment was, phones aren't perfect. It's a challenge for the entire industry, saying that uh, it happens to other phones, which means that everybody right now is pulling their phones out and seeing if it happens mm -hmm. for the bars to drop like that. And at the, at the moment, very latest right now, is they're showing some of the tests uh, that they did where they actually took their phone into a, it looks like a, a sound chamber or some kind of a chamber to, uh, well, there you go. Got it up there. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Uh, that looks scary, like something out of the <laughs> Matrix. Uh, I can't pronounce it, but it's, an, it's a chamber that looks like, uh, and my phone rings as we speak. Uh, and you can see that they're doing some testing here. And they're putting, the, this is from a website called Engadget.com. And they do, uh, there's a gentleman named Josh Topolsky that does live blogging. Every Apple event, every big event, he does this where they don't let you take cameras in. So he's taking pictures and he's also text, uh, mm -hmm. sending up messages. Mm -hmm. So we'll watch. It's cool stuff for us nerd types. You spend 300 on a phone, it should be perfect. You know what, though? You know, it I mean, should be. You've you got think. to admit there's a problem. I'm not a big <clears> fan. <throat> I'll admit that of Apple. Um, but I've used Windows mobile phones, yeah. and anybody that uh, has been around 10 years playing with Windows mobile phones yeah. knows there were troubles there, too. So, mm -hmm. in yeah, all fairness. Got troubles. Oh, sure. No, we'll see. Thanks all right, for we'll keeping keep... an eye on it for us. Well, we enjoy this stuff. 1218. <laughs> we enjoy the news. We enjoy the technology as well. And um, speaking of which, we have an iPhone app that works very well, as well as an Android app. And if you're a BlackBerry fanatic, uh, that too as well. Go to our website at kxan.com. You can download those. They're free, of course. The Android app, actually, if you go to the Android Marketplace, uh, type in just kxan and you'll find it there. Of course, uh, the Apple uh, address and information is there on our website, as well as the BlackBerry. I've used them all. They're all very cool. They actually get around some of the flaws that we had with the phones originally, like animated radar graphics. Couldn't do that. The app takes care